Dr. Joe E. West, class of 1954. I grew up in uh, South Texas, I'm between uh, San Antonio and, and Laredo, a little community called Catula. And more specifically, uh, in my earlier uh, days, up through the fifth grade, uh, was in a little town called Woodward, Texas. Uh, we lived on a farm and ranch. Uh, those were kind of tough economic times, uh, uh, right after the uh, uh, Depression and uh, immediately before World War II. Uh, my uh, mom and dad, incredible people. Uh, my brothers uh, were Robbie, Dale, Melton, and my sister, Mary Lee. Uh, we lost Robbie uh, uh, when he was 14 and I was uh, 15 at the time. My brother Dale became class of 57 and Melton uh, class 61. And Mary Lee, my sister, we had great uh, family support. and. Uh, we moved to Catula after my brother passed away and my ag profs had incredible influence uh, uh, on me. They were Aggies and they were old army. In the early of 1950, when I was near graduation in high school, I had to check out Texas A&M. So I took a long bus ride from South Texas, changed in San Antonio and made all the little stops along the way, San Marcos, Caldwell, Dime Box, Old Dime Box, and finally, Texas A&M. And I got in late at night, and I was tired and had no place to stay. Aggieland Inn was full, uh, no room in the inn, so to speak. And so a phone call was made by the desk, and, and within about 10 minutes, a, uh, a black, shiny sedan comes rolling into the, the, uh, the driveway. And it turned out to be a future medicine and surgery prof in veterinary school, Dr. Hal Redman. <clears throat> he and his wife invited me to stay with them over the weekend as I checked out a and uh, I was so impressed uh, with the core and the student body. Uh, when you enrolled, when I enrolled in 1950, you enrolled in the core because uh, the Corps was automatic, and of course about half of the population was Corps cadets. The other half of the some six or seven thousand uh, were, uh, were veterans who had returned from uh, World War II to either begin or complete their, uh, their education. I was very impressed uh, with, uh, with the Corps, and uh, uh, the, rest, the rest is history. Joe West was a member of Squadron 8, the fish baseball team, and a senior yell leader. He graduated with a Doctor of Veterinary Medicine from Texas A&M, an MS in Radiation Biology from the University of Rochester, and a PhD in Comparative Pathology from UC Davis. Dr. West attained the rank of Colonel during his 22-year Air Force career in Veterinary Public Health and Radiation Biology, at one point serving as consultant to the Air Force Surgeon General. His Air Force honors include the Air Force Commendation Medal, Meritorious Medal with Oak Leaf Cluster, and the Legion of Merit. He served as a clinical pathologist at the Texas Veterinary Medical Diagnostic Laboratory for 18 years. He was a delegate to the American Veterinary Medical Association and president of the Texas Academy of Veterinary Practice. Dr. West received an outstanding alumnus award from the Texas A&M College of Veterinary Medicine in 2001. In 2011, he received an Association of Former Students and Texas A&M Distinguished Alumnus Award. The Wests cared for A&M mascot Reveille 5 after her retirement. He is a past president of the Association of Former Yell Leaders, was a faculty advisor to the Corps of Cadets, and a keynote speaker for the 2001 campus muster. Being in the Corps as well as uh, in a difficult academic uh, uh, major, uh, I, I had to rely on, on, on the, the man upstairs uh, well beyond myself. And so uh, that has served me well. And, uh, the uh, Aggie Code of Honor, I would, I would say that's, that's been one of the greatest uh, things in, in my life that, and I would recommend to all that following the Aggie Code of Honor, uh, Aggies don't lie, cheat, nor steal, nor tolerate those who do, will serve anyone well in their professional and personal life. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the Corps of Cadets Hall of Honor, Dr. Joe E. West, class of 1954.